Okay, so welcome to Adobe Photoshop, which is a Rasters graphics editor developed and published by Adobe Inc. for Windows and Mac OS. It was originally created in 1988 by Thomas and John Knoll. Since then, the software has become the industry standard not only in raster ed graphics editing, but also in digital art as a whole. I just read that off Wikipedia. I don't know what I was doing there, but you know, thank me. But anyway, so uh, welcome to Photoshop, which you know, I've just explained it there. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is um, we're going to be creating some flag, which is kind of unusual because, you know, normally you use Photoshop to turn pictures of Kylie Jenner into, you know, God knows what. But today we're doing something a bit different, which is uh, creating flag. So what we're going to be doing today is, uh, as you can see, we have a blank 1920 by 1080 canvas. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to go on Google and pick a random country and then we're gonna draw that country's flags and then going back to Google and see if the Google recognition system could recognize what flag this is and uh, if Google could recognize my flag then you know I'm a good flag designer and you know one point to me but if Google thinks it's something else I don't know what it will think it is then you know that counts as a fail and that counts as a point for that doesn't count as a point at all, but that just counts as a fail, okay? Did that all seem confusing to you guys? Allow me to demonstrate. So, so basically what I need to do, right? So if I want to create the flag of France, uh, so the flag of France is basically just like blue here. So, so, you know, I just, you know, do this all blue and then, you know, put a bit of red here and then, you know, fill what I have with red and blue. There we go. I just created the French flag and uh, just save this to my desktop and then drag it into Google Images. And there we go. The flag of France. Oh, that's some interesting facts over here. Here. So, you know, now I got a whole bunch of friends over here. Baguette, baguette, croissant. And, uh, you know, I could easily manipulate this into, you know, Italy, for example. So, if I just save this as well and then drag that over here. And there we go, the flag of Italy, which it says here, Banderas del Mundo de Italia. I don't even know what that is. I assume that's Italian for flag of Italy. So, there we go. So, so you know, now I have Italy now. So, you know, basta, make us a baguette. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, I think you got the point of what I'm trying to do here. So I'm, I'm just gonna go to our, you know, random country generator. Uh, this looks good. So um, if I go into this website and then I uh, generate one country, Andorra. So um, I'm gonna have to try to recreate the flag of Andorra, which I have no idea how to do because I think Andorra is like a country between France and Spain. So um, I've seen the flag of Andorra before. Uh, let me just wipe everything here out. And uh, okay, so I think like uh, there's a blue here up on top, right? Jeez, Andorra is like a really small country. How am I supposed to know what this flag looks like? Okay, I think it's like this, right? And then it's similar to Spain's, I think. So a bit of yellow here, maybe it's yellow all over the canvas. There we go. And then red down here. Okay. So this was like the Romania flag, but you know, it's landscape. Uh, and then I think there's something like a badge here, which is blue. I think I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Oh, geez. And then something like this and then, you know, fill this whole thing out and then, you know, put this here. And I think there's like a cross here as well. I don't know. This looks good. This looks good. So I'm going to save this as a uh, PNG. And uh, let's see how I, uh, I did. I've seen the Andorra flag before, but like, I just, I don't know. So uh, yeah, let's see how well I did. Uh, Flag. It just says flag here. Uh, if I search for Andorra, yeah, nothing comes up. So yeah, I'll count that as a fail because, you know, that, that was nowhere close. What does the flag of Andorra look like? Uh, let me just see. Oh my god. The stripes are horizontal? Like, what the heck? Well, I mean, um, I got the colors right. It's just, you know, flipped the wrong way. So, <sighs> yeah, that was a complete fail. Okay, just fail. Who am I kidding? I was nowhere close to the product. Okay, what's my next country gonna be? Tonga. What the heck? Stop giving me like small nations. Jeez. Oh, geez, this is really hard. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is um, Tonga has like a blue background flag. So I'm going to paint the whole canvas like light blue. There we go. I think that's the correct shade. A little bit lighter maybe. I'm pretty sure its flag is like this. And then there's a Union Jack over here. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's just create the, you know, the Union Jack here. So like this and then line through here. I think this looks good. No, actually it needs to be bigger. In the Australian flag, it takes up like the whole quarter of the flag. I would know because I'm Australian. And then something like this. And then another one here diagonally like this. And another one like this. Okay, 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 that's bad. Like this and like 
this. Okay, I think that's good. Actually, I think the diagonal lines are a bit thinner, so I'm gonna make the horizontal and vertical lines a little bit thicker, like this. And then the horizontal one as well. I'm gonna need a bit of red in the middle of all this as well, so like this. And then we, we need one vertical as well, so there we go. And then we need the diagonal ones, which actually are not symmetrical, so like, they go in like a kind of like a clockwise pattern. So this one is like further anti-clockwise than middle, so like every single one of them is like shifted. Okay, there we go. One here. Okay, that was not that was bad. Okay, there we go. And then this one as well. Uh, this one is shifted as well. I don't know why it's shifted. Like it, it just is. Okay, there we freaking go. I got the union jack done. <laughs> this looks like it was created in paint, even though it actually is created in paint. Just the more sophisticated version of paint. And then I think they had some kind of like circular badge here. So yeah, I'm gonna draw a circle here. Make this exactly a circle because, you know, we need Google to recognize this. And then, you know, probably another like, you know, uh, a, a cross. Another, probably another cross here. And then there's probably like another star here, probably. Another star here. Another one here. You know what? This looks good. I think this is a flag of... I think I recreated the flag of Tonga. <laughs> If anyone's watching from these countries, I sincerely apologize that I butchered your flag. But then again, like your country probably only has like less than a million people, so it doesn't matter. Like, like I'm pretty sure both Tonga and Andorra are like country. Like, look at this. Andorra has a population of 77,000. How the hell am I supposed to know what your flag looks like? And you know, Tonga probably has a population of less, even though it's like a Pacific nation, so I probably more. Okay, let's talking. Let's uh put this image into. <laughs> into Google Images and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, clip art. <laughs> they didn't even think this was a flag! <laughs> they just think that we just great. Look at, look at the vi visually similar images. Uh, to be fair, I did kind of rush this, so um, let's see what the flag of Tonga actually looks like. What the heck? What the heck? This is the flag? Wait, then what, 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 what is this flag that I created then? Like, let me just find it, right? Union Jack flag with light blue. I think that's the right terminology. Yeah, this. Yeah, this, this is a flag that was, that was Fiji, Jesus. <laughs> well, that was an epic fail, but you know, Google didn't even recognize that that was a flag of Fiji. So, you know, I, 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 that was a, you know what, that was a double fail because that was the flag that I thought it was, but like, you know, it wasn't. <laughs> But this does kind of look similar to the flag of Fiji, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. Okay, just, just let's just hope for an easier flag this time, okay? What are you gonna get, New Caledonia? Are you serious? You know what? New Caledonia technically isn't a country, so I'm, I'm gonna generate another country. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What does, what do they count as a country? Jeez. Like, this is another island that's owned by both the French and the Dutch. So, that's not a country. So, Marshall Island. Okay, Marshall Islands actually is a country. I have no idea what the flag is. So, I'm not even going to try. Let's just give it a fail. Come on, give me a country where there's actually people. Nigeria. There we go. Oh, finally. Something I can easily pass. So, let's just get rid of that eclipse real quick. Uh, paint the whole thing in a kind of like a dark green. Okay, there we go. So, and then the flag of Nigeria has like a... Uh, white rectangle in the middle of it. I'm not gonna use a pencil tool this time. I'm just gonna do this. And then yeah, make it white. Uh, this might be a bit too... No, no. Okay, there we go. Okay, this should be the flag of Nigeria. So if I just save this, right? And then, you know, put this into Google Images. I mean, come on. This should... There we go. Flag of Nigeria. I would do the accent, but like, I think I've already offended enough people today. Like, let's, actually, let's just see how many people have offended. Italy population, uh... 60.36 million and France population. Let's just see how much this 66.9 <laughs> I I offended over a hundred and twenty million people today, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any more impressions. That will be its own episode. Maybe anyways, let's generate another country Haiti What what is, what give me some Give me a country that I actually know, okay? Like, jeez. You know what? I'm gonna actually set a new rule because, like, these these are just giving me countries that I have no idea about. So I'm gonna make a new rule that that country must have over 10 million people. So, you know, the previous three countries that I failed doesn't count. So but now back to no fails. Okay, let's just keep... Okay, Finland. There we go. That has less than 10 million people. But, you know, I'll take the points if I can because it's a country that I actually know. So let's make this really wide. Just like this. There we go. Uh, I need to get rid of that rectangle juice and then another line through here and uh i think the finished flag is actually a bit darker actually. 
So let's just paint this darker. There we go. This should give me the finished flag. So if I just plug it into here and it should give me the land of... Wait, 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 wait. what? Wait, it didn't give me flag of Finland. Wait, does that count? It just said flag. Wait, what? But then if you look in the visually similar images, right? Yeah, in the Google images one, right? They all say like Finland, Finland flag. Greece national flag, but that's not even a Greek flag. Nordic flag. See, that's that's a Finnish flag. Do I count this? Because like it gave me the Finnish flag, right? If I just you know put this here, Portugal first flag. I think the Google system might be a bit rigged because if you look, the first result is a Finland flag and description. So and then if you look at the flag of Finland, see, look, I I did I did nothing wrong. Like look at my flag. Look and then. Look at this. Uh, granted, my, my lines were probably a little bit less thick, so probably that's why it confused Google, but like, I think that passes. Surely I passed. That can't be a fail. I'm just gonna give myself a point. Uh, if I change my mind, then I'll probably like, you know, do something in my next video. I don't know. Okay, what's the next flag is gonna generate? Costa Rica. Does Costa Rica have more than 10 million? Because I'm not sure if I could do this. I'm gonna go to Wolfram Alpha to check the populations just so that I don't get a peek of the flag. Costa Rica population. All right, here we go. 4.91 million people. Okay, so I don't have to do that. Let's generate another one. United States minor outline. What the heck? Okay, well, it said United States. So um, I'm just gonna create the United States flag. Can we also have another rule here that it also needs to be a UN country? Because like United States minor outlying islands. I mean, the name of the country that owns it is literally in the name. What the heck? So I'm just gonna create the flag of the United States, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the American flag basically has a canton here. I think that's the right shade of blue, and then, and then you know, I need to fill the rest of a canton with blue, just like this. Okay, this rectangle looks clack. I'm not gonna use this rectangle, actually. Uh, let's, let's use the actual, like, rectangle tool to create our canton. So, it will look like this, and uh, let's give it a blue color, like this. There we go. Uh, it needs to be a darker blue, maybe. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. That, that, that should do. And now I need seven red rectangles. So, I'm gonna create a rectangle right here that's uh, 83 pixels by uh, 1920, of course. They need to be colored red. I need to clone it seven times and then and then spread them apart like this uh, I think this one goes right above that actually and then uh, okay the canton needs to be further ahead Okay, I think this should do there's another rectangle hidden behind this. I only need seven Okay, just make make sure they're even Okay, there we go. I could technically plug this in and Google will probably recognize it because, you know, the American flag is, is such a popular thing, you know, uh, people fly in 4th of July a lot, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to add the stars. On the now, am I allowed to go to Google images to look for images of stars? That's, I don't think, I don't think you're allowed, right? Uh, now nah, screw it. I'm just going to draw on. Uh, so, so I'm going to create a new layer, uh, use a pencil tool, uh, make, probably make this like 20 pixels wide, make it white and then draw a star. Star. Okay, this needs this needs to be less than 20 pixels. I'll uh, probably at 10, you know? And then draw the star itself. Okay, this needs to be even smaller. Four pixels. There we go. Like this. And then one that's going on like this. Here, here, and here. Okay, this looks like a normal. I don't think Google is gonna go into the fine details, so I'm gonna color this star in. I need to clone this 50 times. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna take a bit of doing, isn't it? And 48, 49, 50. Now time to put them all in the canton in their respective spots. Oh no, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, there we go. The 51 star American flag. I have to create one star real quick because, you know. So let me just do some final touches to this because, you know, OCD. There's 51 in there. So, you know, this is not actually the United States flag, even if I did get it right. So I'm just gonna this a little bit down a bit so there we go so now time to see what google has to think of this i mean i think it looks good apart from the fact that you know there's 51 stars in it that but like i can't think of any formations for 50 stars so hopefully google recognizes it like google is smart isn't it just drop it here and what does google have to say surely not sure there we go <laughs> Why was I even doubting that this would create the American flag? Jeez. Okay, what's our next country gonna be? Hard Island and McDonald Islands. I'm pretty sure like McDonald Islands is in Australia, right? Let's just let's just put this onto Wolfram Alpha. Once again, this is just to prevent me from seeing any flags. Uh so let's just um 
put this into Wolfram Alpha to see what country this belongs in. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. What, what? Oh, okay. So it's in Australia. So I don't think I'm going to have any trouble doing the Heard Island and McDonald Island flags, am I? Because I don't think they even have the flags. Because if you look at right here, right? If I just search up US minor outlying islands flag, I don't think they have a flag. See, no, they don't even have a flag. Like there's one flag for like each minor outlying island, but they don't have a flag. So even if I didn't create like that 10 million rule, like I don't think I would be able to, no, I know. I won't be able to create the flag, so yeah, you know. So yeah, Hard Island and McDonald Island, once again, even if they do have flags, they'll probably be different flags, so I'm just gonna create the Australian flag, because that's the sovereign state that you belong in, Australia. So yeah, so the Australian flag has like a kind of a dark blue background, so I'm just gonna like paint through this entire canvas, maybe a dark, yeah, this looks about right. And of course, we need a Union Jack, and this time I'm gonna create it out of rectangles, because last time it didn't, it almost didn't recognize it, so I'm gonna need four rectangles. Uh, I'll just like freely transform them. I'm not gonna like, you know, modify the pixel length. There we go. So this one needs to be rotated. This one needs to be like this. So it'll be horizontal. Uh, just make sure, making sure the dimensions are the same. And then this one needs to be tilted horizontally. So this one needs to go over this way. And then give it a bit more width. This is maybe too much width. Uh, make it a bit more diagonal. And then for this one, I'm just gonna tilt it like this. So it goes the other way. And I'm gonna create a new layer so that these like stick sticking out would be covered. It. So, so I'm just gonna like paint over them once again uh, from here all the way up to here So you know so that you know nothing will be overflowing Okay, so there's a Union Jack probably make this a bit bigger actually because it needs to cover like a quarter of the canvas Okay, this okay, this can't be sticking out. So I'm just gonna paint over it real quick. Ah oh, crap I'm using the wrong color. Oh wait crap. I forgot the diagonal ones are supposed to be not as wide as the horizontal and vertical ones Oh damn it uh, I, I don't think I can modify them now because I already turned them into regular paths. So I'm gonna leave them be. Now we need our red rectangles to cover this thing. Oh, it needs to be another one vertical like this. And then the diagonal ones are not symmetrical, which I don't know why. But this time I'm actually not gonna like modify them because first of all, I don't think Google is gonna recognize it. And second, my diagonal lines are already like wrong because you know, they need to be thinner than the vertical ones. But there we go. So there's a Union Jack. I, I think this looks good. I mean, yes, this still does look like it's created in paint, but it looks good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is create the seven star flags, and there needs to be four here, and then one here, and then there's a five star flag in the middle of this, so... Oh, dear, I don't know how to create a seven star flag, which is, you know, kind of disgraceful because I'm from Australia, and, you know, I'm supposed to know it, but, you know, I don't, so... I think, like, it's supposed to go like this. Uh, but this time it's not completely horizontal, so... And then, like, this... This no, I'm just creating a five-pointed star now. Okay, so this, 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 this. Oh crap! This, 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 this. Okay, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Wait. So if I don't turn as much when I, you know, it's like this, 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 and oh no, this, 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 this. this. You know what? I'm just gonna create seven triangles like this and then I'm just gonna like merge them into a seven-sided star Like I'm, I'm not sure if I if I draw like five pointed stars like probably five pointed stars will even work But you know, I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, this looks pretty good Uh, Granted it does still look like it's made in paint, but you know at least it looks like a seven pointed star well, this really does look like it's the main paint. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna merge all of them up into one layer. Slice it up, erase the right part of it, and then just clone it, and then flip the right one. So, you know, now it's symmetrical. Now it's completely symmetrical. And then, of course, merge the two of them as well. So, and, uh... Now we got one full star in a single layer that looks really clapped. Jeez. Now, now I'm gonna need five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. A big one here, and then make them like this in a formation like similar to this. Like, and there we go. Now we have the Southern Cross over here, and uh, there needs to be another star in the middle. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Quickly draw that up. Uh, make this smaller, and then make the line straight as well. There we go. See, look, I'm way better at drawing five-pointed stars than seven. Maybe I should have just done that. And there we go. The Australian flag. Uh, something doesn't. Something about this doesn't look right. Like this doesn't really look like this. Wait, if I just put this down. Yeah, this this looks better. But I think the five point star needs to be a bit smaller. Okay. I think 
This should be good. I mean, I probably joined this like a thousand times in primary school. So I think I'm good. So save this as my new image and uh, hopefully Google will recognize it. If I don't, I'm a disgrace to this country. I mean, like just deport me. Okay, this should give me the Australian flag. Come on, please, please. Third flag of India? What? Wait, what does third flag of India mean? Indian national flag, 1917. The flag was hoisted by Dr. Annie Beth. What? No way, come on. Visually similar images. No way that's a flag of India. Like then maybe, oh no, it doesn't even look like the third flag of India, but I think it recognizes that this is the flag of Australia because if you see here, but why is there so many Indian flags? And why is it Chinese flag? Is that a- is- is Google trying to stay? Australia is being overcrowded with Indians and Chinese? Dude, Google is racist! Dude, what the heck? And, and Cambodia as well, like what the heck? And then we got like Indian Boeing 777s and 787s. I think that's a 78. Yeah, I think that's a 78. Just a short one. We have we have official proof that Google is racist. So what if Australia is packed with Indians and Asians? Like, what the heck? How is that any of your business? Google is racist. I'm just going to give myself a point, all right? Because, like, the first result is Australian. I mean, like, but then if I just search up the third flag of India, like, it'll give me an Indian flag. So, I'm... Oh, wait, no. Actually, no, it won't. I think I'm going to give myself a... But then it doesn't... Does it say Australia anywhere? Okay, it does say Australia. I'm gonna give myself like a... Maybe a half mark, okay? Half and half. Actually, no, probably like 0.75 pass and 0.25 fail. I mean, like... You can tell that this is the flag of Australia, okay? The first visually similar image is a flag of Australia. So, I'm gonna give myself a three-quarter pass and a quarter fail. Which is actually sad because I am Australian. I've lived in Australia since I was five. I was an Australian citizen ever since I was born. So, this thing is rigged. Either that or Google is racist. No, but actually maybe both. Okay, I'm doing one last one. I'm gonna create five countries this time. Uh, I'll probably do more next time, but uh, what's our next one? Malta. Does Malta have more than 10 million? I don't think- yeah, no. Not even 1 million. I think I do have like the flag of Malta in my head somewhere though. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna generate another one. Not a country, definitely not. Uh, Honduras. Oh no. Honduras, I don't know the flag of because it's not- such a good country but like it's in the caribbean and like and then and you know in caribbean like they're all like densely populated so like i think i'm gonna okay 9.27 oh crap but it might have 10 million now i'm not sure i'm like i don't want to google it because like i'll probably know the flag so um i'm just gonna generate another one because it can't grow by that much that quickly right it only grew like it only grew by like 1 million from 2010 to 2017 so like they probably have like so you, as you can see 1 million in seven years uh, actually i'll uh, actually probably like 1.2 million i'll say 1.2 million so that's about like 160,000 per year i don't think they have 10 million now unless there's a baby boom so let's generate another one okay Andorra, no, I've already did that. Iceland, haha, Iceland doesn't have 10 million, surely not, but I know the flag of, so let's draw it. If it doesn't have 10 million, right, I could choose whether or not I want to draw it, okay? Like, come on, this is my video. I make up the rules. Okay, so Iceland is not one of those Nordic countries, so I'm gonna start off with the Nordic cross, and uh, I learned from my mistake from the Finland one, so it needs to be a bit thicker. 243 pixels, there we go, so one here and one here, and then Iceland also have like the red middle in between the Nordic cross so something like this so something like this and there we go see another easy one the Australia and like the US one was also kind of easy but like they have like, like sophisticated details but like I know the flags really well like I live in Australia for almost my entire life and the US I mean it's the US how would you not know what the disputedly the most famous country in the world is it's disputed with China okay a lot of people in Asia also know what like China looks like but like the US, like, like the default currency of the world is a is a US dollar, so, you know. And what's regarded as, like, the most powerful person in the world is a US president, which is this orange freak. So, basically, US is the most famous country. But that's not the point. It's just, I know the two countries really well, so I know the flags. And now, Iceland, I also know the flag of. That has over 10 million, and there we go. The first result's just flag. Seriously? But I think the first image is the flag of Iceland. So there we go. Another pass. Even though, you know, Google can't recognize it. Which shame on you, 
Boo. So yeah, there we go. I think uh, I've done enough flak now. I've did five and I've been recording for over an hour. So I think I should be good. So I'm going to end up this video here. So in the end, my score was 4.75 and 0.25 fail. I mean, that Australian flag, like the first result was a flag of Australia, but like Google can't recognize that. Google d d doesn't know what flag it is. So I deduct a quarter of my score. But, but otherwise, here is my score. 4.75 and 0.25. So um, I think I made this a bit easy for myself because of the 10 million rules so that's maybe why I got it so high so yeah anyways I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have make sure you leave a like uh, let's see if we can get to uh, 15 like 20 likes of course subscribe to this channel if you haven't already if you want some more wholesome content and you know while you're at it why not hit the notification bell I mean it's right next to the subscribe button but yeah anyways that's all I have to say I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, I'll see you guys all in my next video goodbye <laughs>